Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the last tutorial we have learned how to overload the unary increment and decrement operators when they are used in the prefix form. So in this tutorial we can learn how to overload them when they are used as postfix. So here just for the demonstration purpose I have a class called marks and we have a private member called mark. And then we have a constructor you know which is a default constructor which is not going to take any parameters and it's going to initialize our member to a value of zero and then we have a user defined constructor you know which is going to take some value and it's going to initialize the member with that value and then also have a method you know which is going to print out the value stored in that member mark and here we're going to overload the unary increment and unary decrement operator you know when they are used in the postfix form so here we're gonna make the operator function for the increment operator as the class member function and uh, we're gonna overload the decrement operator by using a friend function so first we need to specify the return type and it's gonna be marks you know the class name or you know this operator is gonna return an object of this class marks and then the keyword operator and then the operator symbol which is plus plus and now since this plus plus is going to work on the postfix form we need to specify int here so when we specify a parameter as int here it tells to the c++ that we are overloading this unary plus plus operator which is going to work when we use it in the postfix form and also you know this unary operator is gonna operate on only one operand and that operand will be passed automatically by the C++ or passed implicitly because you know this operator function is a class member so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a duplicate object of the object that we will be passed to us so marks and let's say it's gonna be duplicate and we're gonna pass the current object to that and uh, at that time the copy constructor will be called and it's going to create a new object and it's going to store the value of this object passed in this newly created object so here in the next line what we're going to do is we're going to increment the value of the current object that's why it's going to be mark equal to mark plus one or mark plus equal to one and then we're gonna return our duplicate object so our duplicate object is gonna contain the past object which is unchanged so it's gonna be duplicate and let's add a semicolon so here don't get confused so what we are doing is we are just creating a duplicate object of whatever the object which is passed implicitly and then we are changing the value of the object passed and returning the duplicate object so when uh, we use x plus plus you know for this statement this x is going to have the same value when it comes to the next line you know the value should be incremented so here when we create an object of this class marks and we overload that using this perfect form at that time you know this duplicate is going to contain the value of the original object and when we come to the next line you know this value will be updated so if it's confusing don't worry you know when we run this program it's gonna be clear all right now we're gonna create or we're gonna declare a friend function you know which is used to overload the unary decrement operator so it's gonna be friend because you know it's a friend function and then we need to specify the return type and then the keyword operator and then the operator symbol which is minus minus and then we're gonna take two parameters that's because you know since this is a friend function you know there will not be any this pointer and C++ is not gonna implicitly pass the current object and we need to receive that so here is gonna be marks and also we're gonna receive that object using the reference that's why I'm gonna write ampersand there and then we need to specify int here if we don't specify this int then C++ will think that okay this is for the prefix form not for the postfix form so when we use int and specify that in the declaration you know it tells to the C++ that okay we are talking about the postfix form all right now I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna build the operator function body outside the class definition 
and uh, here within this curly braces we can write the same thing so i'm gonna copy these statements from the operator plus plus and i'm gonna paste it here and also we need to create an object let's say m and here we're gonna pass m to create the duplicate because you know this m is gonna contain an object passed to it and then we need to decrement the marks by one and we're gonna return the duplicate and also we need to refer this mark using m dot mark all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the object from this class marks so in my main function i'm gonna write marks and let's say anil and uh, let's pass a value of 68 my favorite number and then we're gonna call the your mark please method so it's gonna be anil dot your mark please and then we're gonna use this increment and decrement operators in the postfix form so it's gonna be anil and plus plus since these operators are returning an object of type marks we can uh, refer to the method directly here and that's why i'm going to use this parenthesis to group it and then i'm going to call your mark please and then and again i'm going to call this anil dot your mark please so i'm going to copy that and paste it here so now i'm going to save this and i'm going to run it for this increment operation so build and run hopefully we don't have any error all right so we don't have any error and now you guys can see so your mark is 68 that is the value we have initialized and also that is from this your mark please this method and then we have used the postfix form of the increment operator at that time what happens whatever the value of this anil will be used in the statement and then the value will be incremented and that's why you know this your mark please method is going to print 68 in the second line and when we go to the next line or the next statement you know the incrementation or the change will reflect and we get 69 so here you know because of this duplicate object you know the original value which, which is 68 you know which is not altered is returned and the actual value of that variable is incremented here because of this duplicate return here you know we'll get the 68 in the second line and uh, okay i close that build and run it again okay now in the third line we got 69 that's because you know since the value is incremented there you know we get 69 in the third line so similarly if i close this and uh, use the decrement operator here and i'm gonna build and run this now you guys can see 68 and 68 in the second line also that's because you know this is the postfix form of the decrement operator and in the third line the value becomes 67 so this is it guys this is how you guys can overload the the unary increment and decrement operator when it used as the postfix form so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like my facebook page and stay updated with the latest videos that we're gonna make and i'll see you in the next tutorial